What is going on, everyone? Anthony here. And John. And we have some interesting leaks that came about on the internet, but some of it involves the new consoles and a new Resident Evil. Yes. And let's get right into it. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, 4chan, in all of its glory, leaked a PlayStation 5 press, which is supposed to be uh, February 5th, which seems to line up with a lot of theories online. Um, and our theories about like when Sony was going to show what they were going to show. And so many sites are now posting about this information, so you can find it all over. They are going to be yeah, revealing it. Yeah, Game Rant, yep. whole, 4chan, it's, it's everywhere. Every, every major uh, game news outlet. But also, uh, keep in mind that this event is going to be Sony's big reveal of the PlayStation 5, because they are not doing E3. We want to make that yes, clear. they're not doing E3. Um, again, so they're going to be using this event to kind of jumpstart this next gen because the consoles are coming October, November of 2020, Xbox and Sony, both. Yeah. So uh, it looks like this No matter event, which you know side you're on. Right, exactly. They're this both going to be here. This generation is coming to an end. The new consoles are on the horizon. We already got a taste of some uh, a reveal of Godfall on the Game Awards. So other than that, no other like next gen games besides like, you know, Halo Infinite, stuff like that on Xbox aside that have been um, revealed. But uh, Sony has... A couple of games that they're going to be potentially announcing or, you know, bringing to the table for the actual event and whether or not they're, you know, legitimate. But obviously, you know, Gran Turismo 7, MLB The Show, blah, 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 the list goes on. But then it says other games tease, such as New Horizon game, which we expect, a new Spider-Man game from Insomniac, which we inspect. New Crash Bandicoot game, that's kind of obvious. Which will be awesome. Right, which will be really cool. A new sci-fi IP from Naughty Dog, that is interesting. Um, I'd like to see what's going on with that. New IP from uh, SIE Japan and London Studio. Final Fantasy 16, which John would be excited for. Yeah. And this last blurb is why we're making this video. Yep. And a new Resident Evil title. Now, this kind of goes back to what we were saying before on the other video, or other videos, rather, uh, about them. We knew that it was in development in the background, and it was being developed for next gen. That rumor, not even rumor, it's kind of already been confirmed. But launching it along the new consoles is something we've talked about in the past, as well as launching it with a potential VR, if it is in first person, because we know that PS5 is, I guarantee you, Sony's going to talk about the VR2 at that event. For sure, 100%. 100%. So they might actually say, hey, here's the VR2. And here is the The lights will go down. An all new Resident Evil. And it's Resident Evil. Resident Evil 8, maybe? Yeah. Uh, It's possible that it's not 8. Could be a spinoff. Could be a spinoff. So we're not, again, we don't. This is just going from this information here. Yeah. I don't know how credible this leak is. This is just obviously going off of the material. But we know that this is right around the corner, and Sony is next on showing the console. We see, we saw yeah. the Series X already. Sony's up next. And, and it yeah, because Nintendo's just doing their own Nintendo's thing. Nintendo's in their own lane. Yeah. And at this point, it just seems that like we're going to get these big price tag reveals. We're going to see the backwards compatibility aspect of things, how you can transfer things, along with the new titles. But... They got to, you know, both sides of the coin have to bring the games this gen. And if you launch your console with a new Resident Evil title, I'm, I'm in. You know Me too. I, mean? I, I can't really remember other than the GameCube, which I don't know if it was at launch. Off the top of my head, I'd have to fact check it. I think maybe other than like Code Veronica, I don't think a, a Resident Evil game's ever launched a console. No. I think the GameCube was close because it had remake and Resident Evil Four. It, dream, it didn't really launch Dreamcast, but it was like a couple months after it was its a couple, release. It was going a couple from months after September ninety yeah. nine to March two thousand. Yeah, so. so no, no Resident Evil game has ever launched a console. Right, and they know it's a you know it's obviously a franchise that is you know booming right now, and it would make sense for them to include that in their uh, announcement lineup as well as like all the other games that we're seeing here. Um, and I think it'd be it would make sense that it would be along with their VR. Yeah, um, because we both predicted months ago right. uh, that Resident Evil 8 would be carrying over the first-person aspect of Resident Evil 7. Right, and the remakes are going to be kind of doing their so, thing, yeah. and then the new games are kind of taking this new route. So uh, hopefully we get, you know, it might be a trailer like an RE7, like a little te- like a two-minute little tease. We might not see much of, like, gameplay, or they might just, like, be like, hey, we got gameplay of, like, how the VR works, and they mm-hmm. show us a Resident Evil demo. Um, because what other game would you want to use for a demo versus, you know, other any other game that's out there that's VR that you would want a demo besides, like, a kid game or yeah. something fun? Something colorful. Something like, you know, Resident Evil. Like, they, I'm sure they might open it up with, like, hey, you know, we got this new VR, we're going to show this other games, and then all of a sudden it'll be, like, it'll 
it'll get darker and then yeah, you're like, oh shit, darker. it's Resident Evil. Because RE Seven was successful for the VR platform, definitely. No, yeah, it was. It was definitely successful. I would say it was one of the best VR games. It was still looking learning. at the library in hindsight yeah. now that this gen's kind of like yeah. closing. The the library wasn't great. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so, but it was also very early. Like the, yeah, a lot of people forget that VR really took off this decade, but it took off really in the last half of the now decade. Now it's working a little bit better now. Really? Yeah, 2017, 2016-ish. Right. It I... was when like VR things started to really come yeah. out. So it'll be interesting to see. We remain posit- like positive. Right. Uh, Resident I'm Evil be getting 7. Them. Yeah, we're going to get it no matter what. Yeah. We're going to get the VR. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm going to get the VR. I'm not going to get the VR. <laughs> you I'll, can get I'll the get, fucking I'll VR. I'll get the VR and I'll I'm get not the spending PS5. Money on that shit. Um, I'm just interested to see exactly what it is going to be if it's going to be resident evil 8 if it's going to be a spinoff i'm completely fine with them doing vr titles as spinoffs i don't mind it i don't mind first person resident evil as a spinoff series it's never been about the camera angle to me it's always been about the storytelling i was just about to say that too a lot of people know our opinions of re7 yeah. at this point if you're new to the channel you know we're not the biggest fans of it but it's not just because it's first person it's, no it's, it, it kind of goes deeper than that it's not like if this is first person me and john on the channel are immediately gonna no we're not going to bash it or anything. If it's good, if and, it's it, good and it offers good. good characters and it brings back either familiar characters or newer characters and really give a way better concept than the whole Baker house, which I personally was not a fan of. And I know some people were, and that's fine. And I know that RE7, just, or RE8, just like RE7, might be catering to bringing newer people and casual players into the experience, which it seems like that's what they're doing. Yeah, it seems like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... First person, Resident Evil 8 is what we're predicting. I, I don't think it'll be a spinoff title. I just have a feeling it'll be 8. I just think it's exciting that it's launching with the console. I do too, because, because uh, if it does do that, if this leak is true and it does do that, it will be the it'll be a huge win in Resident Evil's book because they've never launched a title before. Right. Now, if it is a title launching game, or a, a console launching game rather, I wonder where it's going to fall with like, PC and Xbox. Right, right. Because if, you know, 7 was built for the VR, um, I remember early on, 7 ran like shit on the Xbox. Like, it looked like crap. Like, it, there was a lot of tearing um, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, on both base consoles, it looked like complete crap. Um, when you played on the, like, later they added HDR to it, but like, now yeah. a lot of these consoles are going to be beefier right from the gate, so hopefully they make it towards it, because it's going to be on Xbox, it's going to be on PC. I hope it has a good experience on both, yeah. I hope well, I mean, we don't know one. that. It's not going to be an exclusive. But I, I don't think it should be. I think yeah. everybody should be able to play yeah, it. Yeah, Resident Evil, they're not going to make that shit exclusive, man. Calling it now. Now, will they make it exclusively for the VR, like, for only on their platform? Yeah. Like, you won't be able to play RE8 on Oculus or yeah. on the PC. Maybe. Like, maybe. I mean, we'll see. But, but RE7 still hasn't had that. So they probably have some kind of locked-in contract and deal with them to where they can make it VR on their platform. Uh, again, this is just us speculating. They might not even make it VR. They might even just make it first person, and that's it. I mean, it depends on what they do. Uh, stranger things have happened, and we'll probably be, you know, um, you know, we'll be watching this event to see kind of what what For comes sure. out of it because we don't, you know, we don't expect anything more than just like a tease, uh, and then being like, hey, there, here it is, it's coming, you know. But this year is going to be a big year for Resident Evil. Um, I wasn't really, I honestly am surprised they're announcing it like right now. Um, but if they do, if they do, because RE three isn't out yet. Yeah. Because if they're at E three, I was gonna say, well, that's in June, so RE three comes out in April, so that promotion's done, and Resistance is out there, so now they can move on to the next thing, because this is just gonna, you know, be at the same time RE seven was in twenty seventeen, so it's like, yeah, what if they pull? It's been the a while. Biggest trick that they ever have done, and it's a Survivor remaster. Oh my god! For the VR. It's an on-rail shooter. It's an on-rail shooter. Well, Survivor's not on-rail. No, 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 you, but make it on-rail. Oh, <laughs> you know what would, be, you know what would be really cool? And I said this before, but what I hope... I hope it's not Resident Evil 8. I know it is going to be. Like, I feel yeah. it. Yeah. If but we you know say that, really cool? ourselves. It would be really cool if they did an on-rail Chronicle game for the VR as a launch title. And did it better than the first two. Right. Like, those kind of spinoffs right. would be cool to have in VR. Uh, not really sure if I would want to see 8 be first person again, just because I have a bad taste from what 7 was. Right. No, I agree. But, as always, you know, we're willing to try it and, and give it a fair chance. Yeah, and then there's also the idea where it's like, would Capcom want to put a spinoff kicking off a new console? Might be a main entry. 
that like for, for some people it's that gonna might be, be out there, it's 100 percent going to be a main entry. Yeah. Like it, as much as we don't want it to be, it's it's it's, 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 Resident it's Evil. going to be, yeah, it's Resident Evil Eight. So we know that it's been I a would development. Be surprised. I would be really surprised. Or, or could it be those VR games that Capcom has over in their uh, their plaza? Remember, right? The right. Resident Evil Seven Chapter Two or yeah. whatever it was called, and the uh, Walk Through the Fear and the uh, Valiant Raid. Yeah. What if they're bringing those over? What if they're bringing something like that over for the VR? Right, or they could do something with Dino Crisis. Who knows? Or it like, could be Dino yeah, Crisis. Yeah, like just it a Capcom be. property in general. Because the Resident, Resident Evil, Evil, it says it says new Resident Evil title, but you know, and we do know that Ambassadors have been testing an unannounced game. Right. So it's definitely something in the works. Right. We wanted to bring that up too because that was another thing that was brought to the fans' attention was that something's being tested and it's in the testing phases so that means clearly there's something to be presented some kind of new material so yeah i mean that's really all though it's just yeah, it's just one little line we not just wanted much to yet kind of talk yeah. about it uh, as always you know we are going to be covering resident evil 8 or whatever this mystery game is all the way up until it's released just like we are re3 yep um yeah but that's it that's all i have to say yeah that's about it um and you know we'll obviously keep you updated and once we uh, you know, if you guys want to see a live stream of the Sony event, we can always do that. You know, there's no uh, there's a date, February 4th? February fifth, fifth, fifth. So it's a Wednesday. No time yet, but they're probably gonna you know do it either in the day or later at, in the evening. Um, so we'll see what's going on with that. But if you like this video, don't forget to drop that like down below. Smash that like button like Jill smashes Nemesis with that car, and hit that subscribe button as well. And leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think about these leaks. What are your thoughts on RE8 possibly being first person? Would you want to see it in first person? Do you think they might pull it on the VR? Or do you think they might just do RE8 next gen and just make it, you know, like Resident Evil 3 or 2? You know, make it like behind the back, not first person. We assume that they're leaning towards that, but we'll see. Let us know in the comments below and join the RE discussion. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.